Hello, welcome back to Matt's Coins and just a very quick video to whip your after appetites. Yeah. Just back. I tell you what, it's going to be fun finding out. So I'll just quickly have a look at a, a couple. And we have silver. Ooh, now I'm getting excited. We've got a 1924 floor in there. Now I am getting excited. I want to get into these bags now. But that'll have to wait. Hello, welcome back to Matt's Coins. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, um, at least since the beginning of May, um, you would have seen me purchase from auction four five kilo bags of mixed coinage uh, from an, an auction here in South Wales. Um, by the time you're watching this, it's probably going to be the end of June, beginning of July. Um, but I'm recording this very first episode, of, in, first in the series, on the actual day because I'm wanting to see what's in these bags. I just, just like a kid in a sweet shop, I just can't wait. So I'm going to record the first part. It's probably going to be several parts to this one. Um, let's get in. I shall tell you what it is I will be looking for. So the first coin out of the bag is a 10 pence, oops, and he's done it again. This one from 1969, pretty decent nick. So that's hopeful. Got a big scratch on it, but there we are. Uh, so what am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for, I'm looking for silver predominantly out of these lots, I think. Um, let's move this forward a bit so we're under the light. Looking for any varieties, any nice coins, anything that upgrades my collection, anything I can put in the Whitman albums. Um, looking for any rare examples of these coins, like there's a, a duplicated nine on some of these. I'm just going to put it under my scope, which is just next to me. And that isn't the double nine. If you want to see what the double nine looks like, if you look back through the playlists and my videos, you will find an example that I purchased a few months ago. So this is one of the things we're looking for. This is a 1924 Florin. Pretty worn, but quite common for the era. But when these are pristine, they are really nice. 0.5 silver, of course. As per previous sense, I'm gonna try and make these about 15 minutes long each. That seems to be about the optimum for recording as well as the editing. And as usual, we'll have a little wrap up at the end showing what we found. In terms of references, we're looking for a 1946 and 1949. They are the two lowest mintage years. Too many varieties to, to list in terms um, of the bronze coinage. Where's our first foreign? Norge, Norway, 10 crowns. Here we go, another 10p, 1970 this time. Interesting to see what sort of date when we get on the 10p's. Not that I need them, and the 5p's. 2p's, only one year that you ever want to look out for on the 2p's, and that's a 1983. Has to have new, p new pence written on it. Only available in collector's packs, and that was a genuine mint error. Don't be fooled into some of these eBay listings that uh, are advertising rare 2Ps from 1971. They're not rare, they've minted over a billion of them. They are far from rare. 1967. The 1983 new pence, there are two pence varieties as well. New pence, they... I'm going for about £1,500. Well, they have done recently. Oh, first Victoria. I'm going to say that's a 1900. 1944. Another two pence. Eight. Nine 
1956. All of these coins will be checked for varieties, etc. Okay. No, that's man made. Too straight to have been done at the mint. Just a damaged coin. 1961. In terms of pennies for the Whitman albums, as part from some early Victoria, we are on the lookout for the 50 and 51 pennies. 1957, two varieties, Rough Sea and the Calm Sea, being covered in previous uh, videos, so I'll go back and check those out. Oh, we've got some American in here as well, I've noticed. Look at the cat meowing outside the door, if I, they might pick that up. Right, here we go. So this is a Denver minted 1964 five cents. Minted in nickel, so no silver value on that one. Had it been a quarter from that date, then we'd have been in a shade of silver. Another 10p. Let's get another hand for it. Nice. Look at this. Even though it's Cupro nickel, that is in excellent shape. 1948 English shilling. That may be an upgrader. I'll keep that aside. 1943. Come on, a 46 and a 49. Let's get those spaces in the Whitman album sorted out. Maybe even an upgrade for my own collection, that would be nice. The 46 and the 49 are the two lowest minted years. Um, I think it's something like 640,000 for the 1946 and... 470,000 for the 1949 off the top of my head. So, Frank. I'm sure if I remember, I'll put a little caption on the screen here. Okay, we've got a George V penny. What's it going to be? 1936. Ooh, nice shiny 1968 Irish penny there. Get some more of the Irish ones, especially the early ones. There's a few gaps there. One shilling from Austria. 66, half penny. Another shiny 67, no doubt. And George V, half penny, 1933. Right. Let's see what's in this next handful. Got the 67 penny again. Strange. Strange discoloration on it. Oops. Like on the back. Nah, probably just discoloration. 1960. 1958. Nineteen fifty seven calm C. So whilst it is a variety, it is not necessarily a scarce one, but it's not also that common. I'm just trying to see if I can find the fifty seven we found earlier just to show you. So there we go, calm C on the right and on the left is our rough C. So you can see the difference there. This one is less common 
but not as rare as people would have you make out. They are right there to get. And I do tend to find one in every hunt or so. But I'll put that one aside as it is a variety. Probably the first time that I found one right at the start of a hunt. Recently they've always been coming in at the end. Nineteen thirteen. For those regular viewers, if you remember back at uh, beginning of the year, I showed a hunt where I found five good condition half pennies. That these lot, that these four lots came from the same auction house as that one. That doesn't say I'm going to have the same luck, but you never know. And I am making some money back. Might not be much, but it's some. Oops. Okay, got another Edward here. 1902, high tide. You can just see where the tide line almost intersects with the leg of Britannia there. Had it been a bit lower, that would have been the low tide, and that is the scarce of the two varieties. So we've got time for another couple more handfuls here. No more silver so far after that initial florin. Okay, we've got 1920 half penny. 1913, there are varieties on the 1913, but I'll keep that check for later on. 1921, you're looking for the gap. Now that's intriguing. Not my mistake, I must be tired. It's the gap between Gra uh, GRA and Brit that you're looking at. I was wondering why there wasn't a full stop after DEI, but there isn't one. Mental note, get to bed earlier. Sixty-seven with fingerprints. Nineteen oh eight. In terms of the half pennies for the Whitman albums, other than upgrades, we are looking for the older Victorian ones. I'm not sure if we'll find any in this hunt, but yep, you know, we'll see. Sixty-four. For 67s, so I'm only going to show the one side from there on. We've got 68 10p. 1925, was that 1925? Yeah, it's got to be. Looks like it's been through the mill a bit. Another 67. Right. Definitely going to be a couple of episodes this one. Right, another 1921. Yep, again looking for that gap. 58. I have covered that particular variety off in previous videos. Again, if you want to go and have a look, I should probably catalogue what I've done and where to make it a lot easier for you. Mental note. German 1968 10th piece. Another 67. 27 half penny. Fifty-five. 
Is that 1973? I don't think we've got that date so far. It's going to be 67. Uh, 1957, 1959, last couple of coins for this hunt. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification icon as well. You should be notified of future videos. And on this 1955 threepence, I shall bid you farewell and I shall see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.